Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Best Friends SMP. That's right guys, we're finally back. And right before we get started with today's video, if you guys could just do me a favor right away and help me hit a like goal, that would be great. If we could hit 11 likes for today's episode, that'd be amazing. Go down there and slap that like button down there down below. And we need to get started right away. Okay, first things first, we need to grab a lot of oak logs. And second thing second, I need to explain um, what we're going to have to do pretty, pretty soon. So real quick, if you guys have seen the previous episode of the Best Friends SMP, you guys should know Rage pranked me and I actually fixed up the prank. So actually, actually I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but yeah, the room is completely fixed. I don't think the cobblestone pattern on the ground was the same as it was before I did that because that was kind of random, but the room looks fine now. And... Um, another small thing is I'm pretty sure all of the grass on this floor, besides these two blocks, are, and these few blocks here, are pretty much completely spread out, so I'm really happy about that. But, anyways, we're finally going to work on the sub wall, which is going to be down here. If you guys can't tell, I did a lot of work for things first. Um, yeah, I kind of cleared the space out because I'm going to expand the base a little bit in this direction over here and i don't know what's up with that random block being over there let's go fix that right away so there we oh my gosh okay 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 breaking stuff while being on water it's kind of annoying but anyways the other piece of work that i did is obviously put the um stone brick flooring down and jack-o-lanterns around for lighting because this room just like I said in a very early episode, is where the sub wall is going to be. And I actually did hollow out what I wanted to do with this area. So, uh, okay. So we're going to fix this up later, but it's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to put basically um, on the left and right sides of these walls, it's going to be uh, logs. Just like that. Pretty simple stuff. It's going to be all the way on the sides on all of these corners over here. And actually, am I... I feel like I already made a mistake, but I I should be good. I should be good, but something like that. Now, the second part is I'm actually going to need a lot of oak planks. For the actual sub wall, I'm going to be putting, you know, these blocks down and filling up this area. And while this is happening, I guess I can explain what the uh, rules of the sub wall are is going to be for you guys who don't remember. And there's actually going to be some new rules with how I'm going to be adding people that will help you guys who watch the series, you know, be picked more often, I hope. I uh, realized where I made the mistake. This part here is supposed to be stone brick as well. Okay, I need to get more stone bricks. Um, let's, let's actually just do that now. Okay, so if you guys don't remember my past series, um, there were rules on how to be added onto the sub wall, and they're kind of going to be a little bit the same now, but I modified them so you guys would have a much more, you know, higher chance of being added, and for people who are, like, really loyal viewers. So, the rules for the sub wall is simple. The first thing we're going to change is, um, the comment. Well, I'm still going to be choosing through the comments and all that, but the way I'm going to be choosing will be different. Last time, I used to have you guys put a hashtag and all that. Now, I'm just going to choose any comment. As You know, um, you can literally comment whatever you want on the video, and I'll just, you know, choose whatever one I like from that. So even though it is, I guess, more freeing in what you can comment, and you guys don't really have to put a hashtag, um, since I am kind of choosing it, you know, if it has something to do with the episode, it just has a higher chance of being added just because, you know, just a, a little biased that way. All right. Now for the big change is I won't be showing the comment on screen, but I will obviously announce who was added to the sub wall in the episode. I don't know when it's going to be announced. Most likely somewhere near the beginning, but I'm, I want to kind of spice things up and see if I can just randomly put them throughout the video. So we'll test things out today and all of that. So someone will be added today. I did have someone in mind. So yeah. Now here's the fun part of this, okay? 
Um, I'm not necessarily going to be choosing from the previous episode. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But, as a way to reward viewers who sometimes like to binge watch the series, or, you know, if they start the series later on and want to start from the beginning and maybe leave a comment on those episodes, what I'm basically going to be doing is I will go through the older episodes of the Best Friends SMP and choose somebody to add from there. And I think this is just going to help with, um... I guess, you know, people who just, like, joined the series super late, like, maybe... Okay, so here's, I guess, the situation I had played out in my head. Um, maybe someone, you know, like, let's say, uh, right now, right, we should be on episode 11, but maybe somebody got recommended, I don't know, episode 4 or something, you know, like, today, and they just left a comment today. I might go back to older episodes like that, and, you know, you, if you comment on an episode like that, then I, there is a chance that I might choose your comment from there. And, I don't know, I just feel like that helps, especially since from now on to, if you guys check the description of this video, I'm going to be leaving a link to a playlist. So, if you're, I guess, a new viewer and you want to see the whole series from beginning to end, there's a playlist now, so feel free to watch that. It should start off from episode 1, if I did things correctly, and, yeah. So, that's basically going to be the rules. Now, I do have another thing that I want to talk about. Sometimes people watch my videos on their TV, and I do watch YouTube on my TV too, don't get me wrong. And something that I notice is, uh, you, you can't exactly comment on TV. So, I don't have, like, a perfect fix to this, and I want to actually ask you guys if you guys think a good fix might be... Every now and then, because um, if you guys don't know, we can I can actually check this. I can see a list of literally all of my subscribers. And I can randomly pick somebody out to be added to the wall from there. I'm not sure if I'll do that, but it's the only solution I can think of for people that watch on TV that don't necessarily have the ability to comment. With all that being said, though, welcome to the sub wall room. It is officially made. It's finally done. Um, I might have to touch up the area a bit to make it a little bit, you know, nicer looking. Looking. But for now, this is going to be the sub wall. And I actually have somebody that I have in mind, considering that the new rules are, you know, literally any comment. So this helps if I have to like pre record a lot of videos too. And so there'll still be someone in the sub wall every episode. So the person who made it, I guess, to the very first segment of the sub wall in this series is the one, the only, legendary. Oops, um, I mean, your name's right there, but your name was supposed to be meant to- Why is it putting it, like, a space down? Okay, so I guess we start here, and there we go. Fire Death 485. Thank you so much for leaving all your comments and all that, and I think this is a really good example of why I added Fire Death. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember correctly, but I do remember seeing his name pop up a lot on the Best Friend SMP comments. I'm pretty sure he's commented on every episode, and a lot of my videos, actually- Fun fact, if you guys don't know, I started uploading again on my vlog channel for the first time in forever, and, uh, yeah, no, FireDust485 watches those vlogs. By the way, I have a vlog channel where I post, you know, real-life content, if you guys are interested. Just called A-R-I-S, Eris, so, yeah, check it out. I'll probably link it down below, and oh my gosh, we gotta skip tonight. Alright. So, next thing that we have to fix, and I gotta check my room to make sure we can probably do it here. So, if you guys don't know, um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it earlier, but just in case you guys don't know, like I said, Rage actually pranked me recently, and we are going to do a revenge prank, guys. Don't worry. I do have something in mind. It's just gonna take a little bit more time to gather the resources I need. As you guys saw, I've been gathering resources. If you guys saw the chest of wood earlier, we have a ton of wood, and that's going to play into what we need. Um, I can't really explain this episode, what we're going to be doing, but, you know, I just don't want anyone to spoil it as well, so this way we, you know, uh can surprise Rage too. Don't worry, the prank maybe will be next episode or the episode after. But we will be doing it soon. Let me just gather all the resources and I'm pretty much going to be ready, okay? Anyways, something that someone mentioned, I don't remember who it is, I am sorry about that, is apparently Rage is going to be, in quotes, borrowing my diamonds. With that being said, I do want to put my diamonds in a much more safe area, so um, I'm just going to hope nobody tells Rage about this, okay? So I'm just going to grab my diamonds, and you know what? We'll grab my emeralds too, because those are somewhat uh, valuable items, 
and we're going to move them to the room. Now, if you guys saw wh what I just did in the room just a second ago when I uh, kind of made that hole in the wall, this is because we're going to, I guess... Mm, okay, okay, you, you guys will see what I'm going to do. So we're going to put the chest here, then we're going to put the diamonds and the emeralds here. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it so, you know... um. This chest is pretty much going to be invisible, and only I can, I guess, access it. So the way we're going to do that is you guys just have to have a setup like I do right here. Have a chest here, make sure it can open like this, which is why we have some spacing up there. And then, I'm just going to do this there. And then, since we made some stairs earlier, we just have to make the stair face that way. Make it into a corner stair by doing that. And we're pretty much done with what we need to do. So, uh, let me just close this up. Place the oak planks there, and there we go. We can open it through the wall, guys. Hopefully this made sense to you guys, and I am just realizing if we do put this down, it is going to be a little hard to open it from here. So, um, hmm. I'm trying to think of what we can do to actually, uh be able to access this uh wow i didn't think of that because if we put this here we can't really open it from there hmm let me think let me think real quick what's a good solution for this okay what if we changed up the pattern we did something like this right and uh we're just gonna change up the pattern so we can actually you know um access this so if we do that and then we do this. This might be a tad a bit nicer. I'm hoping, question mark. Uh, okay, that's not what I wanted. Uh, maybe I'm trying to like, there we go. All right, just like that. And then one, two, three. Okay, it looks a little strange, but now, yes, we can still open it. Okay, uh, now for this side, we got to make it match to that side. Like, realistically, we don't have a lot of diamonds, right? But I, I just don't, you know, uh, and I don't think Rage is going to actually take them. But, just in case, I'd prefer to have them as a safe spot right now. And, you know, you know, uh, just until we can get an ender chest. But this should work. This is how you hide your diamonds and all that. And it does work pretty consistently. So I guess we can leave it just like that. So that's two things we got done. Oh, and because of this, we can actually just put a torch here for extra lighting. Awesome. Okay. Oh, right. There is another thing I want to showcase. I did this just because it'll be easier. So if you guys don't remember, I do live pretty far away. Like, we would literally have to go through here. And it's pretty much like, I, I want to say it takes, like, from, you know, real life time, right? It takes maybe seven minutes to get to the spawn village or Rage's house, right? Well, I kind of fixed that issue just because, you know... It was a bother to me, and honestly, I got lost a lot. So, if we go into Nether here, I actually did something really, really cool. So, check this out. We go into Nether first. We be very careful because I have no idea what could be on the other side sometimes. I swear, one time I came in here, there was like a million, like, piglins. But now... Okay, we're pretty much good. Um, alright, nothing around. We go this direction here, and this was kind of the first way Rage and I went when we went to the Nether. We kind of tunneled this way until we found, like an area and i kind of tried my best to secure this area so none of us accidentally just jump off here and get hurt anyways we go down here all right make a left go right here go through this and i'm actually going to um add another nether portal later on for another location but if we go into this nether portal specifically check this out okay check this out i placed a nether portal on this side of the world next to Rage's house. That way, it won't take a million blocks and a boat to get to Rage's place. And yeah, you know, it's just some nether transportation. It gets us here and there like a lot faster. It'll make it so Rage can visit me a lot quicker too. Hopefully it doesn't mean he can prank me more often, but we'll just be careful with that. But yeah, let me know if you guys like it. I eventually want to put one in that village there just so we have like you know, nether access to that village. We do have a lot of obsidian now because of Rage's prank. Um, so silver lining in that. But yeah, let's go, guys. We uh we got fast transportation now. Also, that nether portal has been really, re really useful to getting to this spot here because it's kind of important that I get here quickly. 
because of the, I guess, huge amount of sand in this area. I've been collecting sand. Ooh, a turtle. Wow, baby turtles are really tiny. But anyways, you know, I've been collecting a lot of sand. It's kind of hard to get sand near where I live, so really happy about that. Still haven't found a desert yet, which is pretty disappointing, but... Oh, okay, I guess this is a hint. I do need some sand for the prank, so... Yeah, I've been farming a lot of sand, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that. You know, it's just going to be something we need for the prank, guys. And look, just being in this beach for like two minutes talking about sand. Yeah, we pretty much have a stack now. Check that out. See? 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 And a stack. Also, why is this birch tree incredibly tall? And second of all, this is a roofed forest. I just realized we should probably gather like some dark wood and a sapling to get a dark wood tree because that's something we don't exactly have a lot. Wait, is that a taiga biome? Hold up, hold up. Is that a taiga or just a spruce forest? Let's check it out. Um, it looks like it's probably just a spruce forest. If it was a mega taiga, that'd be really, really cool. But yeah, I mean, there's a taiga by or not taiga, a, a spruce forest, a roofed forest, and a birch forest in this area. So I guess now we have access to all trees except jungle. I need to find a jungle eventually, just because I do want jungle trees. Wait. Wait, wait. I might have found a jungle before. Yeah, I have watermelon seeds, so I definitely found a jungle before. Wow, it's been so long, I actually can't remember if I had. Anyways, like I was saying before, there we go. Now we have dark wood, and if we can get, like, a dark sapling, that would be actually really, really nice. Alright, we actually did get one sapling from this. It would have been nice if we could have gotten, you know, more than one sapling, but... Okay, you know, at least now we can make a tree. I think we need like four at least, right? Or am I thinking like jungle trees? Ooh, this isn't for any sub wall points or anything like that. Um, let me know what you guys prefer more. Or do you guys like uh, dark wood or spruce wood? Because I feel like they, uh, they're, they're both really nice wood. They both pair really well with birch wood and all that. But, you know, do you guys like dark wood or spruce wood? Uh, personally for me, I think I like dark wood just a bit more, but... You know, sometimes spruce wood is the right color you need for a specific build, so, yeah. It's weird to think that some people's favorite woods are acacia, and they're just wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, did not expect to be out this late, but, you know, I I just ended up finding some oak logs and some oak planks, as well as some sand. Again, going to be very, very useful for the prank, but luckily, you know, just nether portal. Great, like fast travel amazing um i don't know if i put it too close to rage's house but you know it should work out it's whatever already back home i swear i did not think we uh went through a night cycle already and i just realized um wait why are these made of stone here oh it's because that's where the stairs are okay that just bothered me from the bottom for some reason but yeah just to show you guys they have been collecting some sand so there we go and again our wood situation is going pretty well actually let me show you guys uh the upstairs real quick okay it's not really official right and um real quick by the way this is our uh whole uh farm system right here you know this farm's been going great we can probably expand it just so we can get more because we are doing a lot of stuff the sheep farm is uh yeah, no, it's going too well, actually. But this is what I was going to show you. I've been trying to plant every type of tree near this area, just so, you know, we need, like, a specific wood. It's just here, and since I'm always just kind of building in this area, you know, yeah. It just kind of works out that these guys kind of, like, build up on their own. So this is how I've been getting my wood. I've been just trying to put all the woods in one area. I do need to find jungle wood pretty soon. And our pumpkin situation has been going great, too, as a result of me just working on the house and all that. So, just kind of want to show you guys all that, I guess. I mean, soon I do want to move, like, literally all these farms probably in a room we're going to make in the actual house. That way we don't have to keep going upstairs and we can actually build something up there. Not sure where I want to put it. Uh, most likely in this floor, maybe make a room specifically for it. And I'm not sure either of that or we'll have to make it on a top floor because it might be a much bigger room than I anticipated. Not sure yet. I have no idea when we're actually going to start on that, but it's something in the works and something that I really, really want to do. And I just want to, for some reason, make sure that this is still working properly. So it is. It is. Good for me. Good for me. Yay. Let's go. Another thing I want to do is at night, I do want to make sure this area is safe. So, hmm. I think it's bright enough where, like... 
you know, things shouldn't be spawning here. I'm thinking it's because mobs are actually spawning up there and falling down here. That's my guess. So I'm thinking an easy fix for this would just be maybe make like a roofed area. So make a ton of uh, half slabs, kind of get rid of this spot here. There we go. And just kind of like make half slabs and I, I don't know if this will actually fix the issue we'll see one day at night if you know all of a sudden it's not here um do want some stairs for this because i feel like it would look good this way we need a lot more stairs i don't know why i thought that amount of stairs would be more than enough um okay design i kind of want to go with is just something like this you know make the stairs go like that uh wow we are actually one stair short okay whatever uh there we go go and turn that to sticks just because we can and then kind of just build off from here go all the way like that um let's see and here we are i'm assuming that was the reason why i guess the mobs were spawning here now with this rooftop i'm hoping that mobs don't spawn here naturally and if it does i guess we just like light up the area a bit more but um okay i'm just wondering what it looks like from the outside Wow, that was a one heart thing. We could have actually died there. Uh, we're not gonna let Greg touch us because of that. All right, but from down here, honestly, looks pretty natural. All right, you know, that worked out. I thought it would look kind of weird, but I do actually like how that looks. So, yay, cool, cool. Anyways, however, that should be it for the episode. So, you know, in short, I still need to prepare for the prank we're gonna do on Rage. Um, again, I won't tell you guys. You guys can just see when that episode happens. Then. You know, like, the sub wall, you know? Literally, if you guys have, or just brand new to the series, there's always going to be a playlist link down below to all the episodes, so you can start from episode one if you want to, and, you know, feel free to comment on those too, because you will have a chance to be in the sub wall from those comments. I will never tell what episode the comments came from, so, yeah. But I will say if it came from the previous episode or from a past episode, so that's something I will probably say. But, anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys later, and, um... Yeah, peace guys. Bye bye.